Good morning, Flats Glass YouTube. Captain CA here, and this is the channel where we teach you how to inshore fish. That's right. We want to be the leading authority for all of you that aspire to be great inshore anglers. Today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to snell a hook. Uh, it is very easy. It's always been one of those intimidating things to do, but I have a very easy way to do it. Uh, and I'm in great practice right now because it's tarpon season. So I typically, for larger species like tarpon, like to snell the hooks um, for my live bait presentation. So if you're interested in learning something, let's come on over to the boat deck and let's do this. It's going to take like 30 seconds. Okay, as you see, I've got my glasses on now. That's right. I mean, I'm getting serious. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera down toward my chest so that you can see this knot. We're gonna use a 40 pound leader and we are going to use for demonstrative sake, a six aught trocar hook. Let's start. I'm gonna aim you down now. All right, we're gonna take the tag in. And we're going to go through 18 inches or so, through the hook eye one more time. Almost like the beginnings of a Palomar. And then I'm going to leave about that much loop. I'm going to lay it down on the shank of the hook like so. Okay. Then I'm going to take the tag end here, which is very important. And the first wrap I'm going to make is a little further down the beak here, down past the hook eye, I'm gonna pinch it there. And I'm gonna go around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold this, take the tag, go back through. And then I'm just gonna pull on the standing line. Just like that, so it tightens up. You see how it's tightening up? And I am going to cinch with a pair of pliers here on this side. I'm going to pull on this. I want that, that tag end to almost come out 90 degrees. I'm going to pull on it. Make sure every I'm tightening every little edge. You're watching this. I'm tightening everything. I want good, no slippage. No slippage. Then I'm going to take my biters. And because I'm fishing for big fish, I'm going to cut it. A little bit long so I got enough tag in case there's a little slippage. The advantage of this snell is that you've got the pressure across a greater area. So when the fish is pulling, instead of just having one spot, you've got all this. But that's how you snell a hook and it's it's pretty easy to snell these hooks. Now some guys will add glue to this um, for a little added um, benefit, but if you're fishing for bull reds, big snook, uh, inshore grouper like I do, or if you're fishing for the mighty tarpon, it's pretty hard to beat this setup. And that's all there is to it right there. That is a simple, simple snell knot that you can tie and anyone can tie that knot really. Um, if you like what you're learning here at Flats Class YouTube and it's helping you become a better angler, over here and just hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell and give us that thumbs up because the more likes we get the higher we trend and the more of this information gets to you it's as simple as that hope you enjoyed today's tip i got another one for you tomorrow take care everybody